Stop condemning other Christians. Romans 14 verse 10 NLT 10 So why do you condemn another believer? Why do you look down on another believer? Remember, we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. Many Christians seem to have the idea that their job is to evaluate others and point out errors and shortcomings. But our job is not to condemn other Christians. Romans 14 verse 4 Yes v 4 Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls. And he will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make him stand. We can share truth with an attitude of humility, respect, and concern for others' well-being, pointing out areas where we think they may not yet have a correct understanding of Scripture. But name-calling, fighting, and public ridicule should never happen among Christians. Privately correcting someone in humility is quite different from arrogantly condemning another brother or sister publicly. We can teach truth without mocking, ridiculing, and condemning others. Those who resort to such tactics often do so because they cannot convince based on the facts. John 13 35 ESV 35 By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. We are all in the same family. Instead of attacking our brothers and sisters, love should protect them and defend them. Romans 14 1 3, 13 NLT 1 Accept other believers who are weak in faith, and don't argue with them about what they think is right or wrong. 2 For instance, one person believes it's all right to eat anything, but another believer with a sensitive conscience will eat only vegetables. 3 Those who feel free to eat anything must not look down on those who don't. And those who don't eat certain foods must not condemn those who do, for God has accepted them. 13. So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble and fall. There are many differences among Christians. We are all growing and learning. Not one of us knows everything. Even Paul, who wrote down much of the New Testament, said he only knew in part. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 9. We all have much to learn. So we should be slow in telling others how wrong they are. The Lord may have taught them something he has not yet taught us. Many are too quick to label all those who do not agree with them on every point of doctrine as a cult or some other name to put them down. Usually, those who are in the habit of putting down others do so in an attempt to elevate themselves. But God has already elevated us in Christ, so we don't need to fall into this trap. Romans 14 verse 19 NLT 19 So then, let us aim for harmony in the church and try to build each other up. Say this, My job is not to condemn people and call them bad names, but to bless them, help them, and pray for them.